fairly meek. I, mean, I would say a elderly woman ish. Okay. Could be, could be anything. Right. Um, I should say it's Solaris's person servant. Yep. Or PC anyway. I mean, you um, did say man servant, so yeah, I guess. Uh, that's how I envisioned it. Um, so anyway, you've been talking to Solrius. I, I, I don't know if you want me to recap anything before that. Um, I did sort of a quick summary in the XP journal, but uh -huh. uh, I could do that. But I thought it would be best if one of you guys sort of recapped or, or to the extent you wanted to discuss it before we jump into real play, um, what you've talked with Solrius about. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, if, if I was okay with it, I could do a quick recap. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. but use the old man voice, please. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! No, it's okay. It's gonna take a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. Um. So yeah, we basically finished. Well, no, we actually like did this. Was we started right after the fight versus the strange spider creatures and the smelly goat demon. Uh, we rescued uh, the tiefling girl called Nemeya, who was apparently being held captive by these monsters. There were also some tiefling guards or henchmen or mercenaries that now we know are under the command of uh, Atashe Sarius. And he said that uh, it's all under control. And, uh, well... Anywho, uh, we rescued Nemeya and returned her promptly to her mom. And uh, I think, did Nemeya actually, uh, actually give her pendant to Molly, correct? No? That's correct. Yeah, you got her pendant, which seems to be connected somehow uh, to yours. Um... Mm. And then we finally had a long rest. Uh, we went to the Nymph's Rest to have a long rest. Uh, although um, Old Man Fervus got a disease which Molly uh, cured wondrously in the morning. And um, yeah, we decided to check out Orfric's place first. So we went there and we realize it was ransacked uh there was a strange rat in there and we've also found a carving which seemed to be like uh, on the on like the inside of the trunk of Ulfric's trunk in his room and mm -hmm. uh we couldn't really make like any well i think it was like a tree a raven or crow and uh I don't know, like a hand. Are you bringing it up? Thank you. Oh, moon. Yeah, that was moon as well. So yeah, tree, moon, crow. Uh, yeah, some kind of leaf held by a hand as it's loading in. I believe you identify the tree as an ash tree. Yeah, it's an ash tree. Bird yeah, and the uh, yeah, and the hand is holding up some crops or whatever those are. Uh, yeah, but we couldn't really. It seemed like some some message. Meet me at the ash tree at midnight, <laughs> kind of deal. And uh, yeah, well, and then we moved on to Sarius's estate. Just, just to jump in real, real quick, Roberto, I'll, I'll also say that when you were identifying the ash tree, you were able to identify those leaves as ash tree leaves. Oh, ash tree leaves. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, so, yeah. And then we went to Sarius, uh, met him and his manservant, Herbal. Um, and uh, we started questioning him. And... Uh, all I can remember is that he was trying to get rid of us and uh, saying that everything is under control by him and his men. And we should... I think he said something that we should go up north to check out the monster sightings. And uh, apparently I have to look at the, the journal. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, the party also learned that Thomas Gray and Idra Bosk are the names of the two merchant guild representatives uh, who arrived uh, on the Arbite and the King Cardine, respectively. And uh, we should probably look for them. Question mark. And I think uh, we were just about to leave. Because, uh, yeah. Sarius said that, yeah, well, there's nothing for us to do in town, so we should probably leave and check out up north something. Anyone wants to add something? No? Okay. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we're all, I guess, about to leave, right? Or if anyone still has questions to Sarius. Well, Molly uh, didn't ask anything, actually. She just hide behind you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess I look at Molly. Is he scaring you? Molly, instead of answering, uh, hides herself more behind <laughs> okay. you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I asked him uh, whether we could be of any service uh, to, to the city, haven't we? Yeah, so, I think so, you did. So he sort of clears his throat and says, no, the, the most service you can be is to uh, uh, head up north and, and uh, get on after Ofric. Uh, nothing, nothing you need to do here, it's all under control. Everything's totally Ah, that's right. Yes, yes, that's right. So we're doing an excellent job of things here. Yes, indeed, sir. Well, if there will be nothing else, uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, see my manservant to, uh, to uh, show you out and um, bid you good day. Uh, you can always come back uh, if you have any questions and in, 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 in directions you need to, to exit the city. Uh, I'd be happy to oblige. All right. Mm, what about this fortress that we... We've heard so much about anything of interest over there. The uh, fortress, yeah, it's it's the old fort uh, of of Port Galwatch. It, uh, you know, Port Galwatch used to be a uh, a point of embarkation for for uh, expeditions through the various parts of of Graladar, and uh, there were a number of guides back in the day that that provided. Uh, services to to people that were arriving here from from your parts of the world, and the fort was was the main meeting place for for people to equip themselves and and to uh, venture forth. Uh, it's been long long since in ruins. There's there's really nothing of interest there now. I see. I see. No no interest. No particular interest now. Nothing now. No mm. more time. I see. Well, very good. Uh, give me just a moment, and I will have my uh, my answers starting to come and uh, and see to you. All right. Is he turning his back towards us? Yes. All right. I'll okay. quietly start mumbling druidic words, and um, and I would like to pull a detective Columbo. I uh, just turn to him suddenly and say. Uh, dear Atashe Sarias, just one more question, uh, if I may. Uh, uh, yes, and, yes, what is it? And I would like to cast Charm Person on him. Okay. Uh, and I hope this works. <laughs> let's see, hold on. My is he charmable? That's another good question. I'll look up my DC. I think it's a charisma saving throw. Uh, my DC is 13. Did you roll, Robert? Uh, it's... um. Uh, the, uh, so Sarius needs to, to roll. To roll to beat that? Yeah, so my DC is 13, and okay. Charm Person okay. is a Charisma saving throw, but let me check. Because I might be wrong here. It could be Wisdom. Charm Person. 
Well, I'm not going to reveal what the plus is on it. Yeah, so. don't, 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 don't. <laughs> you attempt to charm a humanoid. Oh, it's a wisdom saving throw. It must be a wisdom saving throw. We are not fighting it, so just a straight roll. Okay. Okay. Well, what I have, what, what I would like to know if it's a fail or a, or a success. A six. Oh my god. He says. Right, can you give me the um the effect of a oh well, so he, treated like a friend? Right? He regards as a friend. So oh. if if I realize that he failed, I'm just gonna. Uh, dear attaché, uh, sorry, yes. Um, we are here for the benefit of um, of everyone, including you. Uh, we we are here to help. Uh, there is nothing to hide from us. Uh, please tell us what we can do, and uh, specifically uh, tell us. What happened to Borbog, if you don't mind, dear attaché? Oh, no, of, of, of course. Uh, we're, we're all here for the same thing. I mean, uh, you know, how, how, how could it? We, we really don't have a choice in the matter, do we? Uh, Bor 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 Borbog, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it really wasn't my decision, uh, Borbog. It was, uh, it was uh, no other way. And, and I, I did nothing to him, but I, I, you know, there are those that I just cannot say no to, and none of us may say no to them because we don't know what the situation is. You don't know what the situation is. The situation is very bad. That's what we know. I he, he seems very, very uh, panicked. I, uh, would you mind elaborating on that? Dear attaché, how is the situation so bad? Maybe we can help if we know the the whole truth. Well, well, there, there, there's. I I don't know what to tell you, but the there's in in, in the north they, as he says this. Okay. One second. Hmm? Guys, we're about to get assassinated. Prepare. Or is what? Hmm? Eh? What? Why are we going? Ah, Zia is here. Oh, sorry, I'm late. No worries. Um, just to catch you up, I successfully charmed Sarius. So now he's he's our friend. For an hour. And after that, um, oh yeah, DM. Uh, after an hour, he's going to know that I charmed him. So, oh my god, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Uh, Prepare to die. Yes. I don't have it spoken ready yet. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. probably want to go up north, as he said. So, uh, oh, I do. Soon. Do I? Does this work? Hold on a second. Uh, uh, why? Why did we charm him again? Uh, uh, I mean, he seemed to have been hiding information. So yeah. I figured that if I charm him, he'll go in, he's going to regard us as friends. Hmm. Maybe tell us a little bit more. We are going to question him now? He kind of, yes. So yeah, I just, I just kind of wink towards you guys, like uh, in a way that now is the time. One second here.
Okay. And as uh, Celerius is struggling to answer your questions, but, but, but clearly struggling something within him. Yep. Um, uh, out of a sort of a, not really a puff of smoke, but sort of like a, a, a shimmery, dark, wavering of, of uh, the, the air in front of Celerius, between Celerius and you, uh, starts to form. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Ouch. oh my god. That's nightmare fuel. Ah. And this creature says to you. <laughs> <laughs> Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Molly jumps out the window. <laughs> you do not belong. You must leave. And yes, we will <laughs> leave. And uh, he um, he turns to Solrius and says, "And you, the same." Solrius um, then exits the door. Wow. Um, and heads away. You're left, wow. you're left facing this creature. Wow, he can't charm me. Wow. Alvin? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody called me. <laughs> um, wow, this is unexpected. Okay. Oh, I forgot uh, that the Tifling family wanted me to play with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, can we can we call Sarius and and tell him we are your friends? He don't want to leave us here, so he doesn't leave the room. Uh, I think my charm got countered, to be honest. Oh, so it was cancelled. I I I don't know. I mean, it seemed like uh, we have uh, something with. Pointy uh, wings are facing us right now, so yeah. it doesn't really matter about the charm. Uh, who uh, or what are you? What's the meaning of this? That is not your concern. You must leave. You must gather your things and you must leave. Go watch. By you, who do you mean exactly? All of you, the four of you. <laughs> Just the four of us? Not everybody who came on the ship? You. Uh, only us four, right? <laughs> you. Alright, alright. I start slowly walking towards the door. As you do that, yep. Herbal comes in <laughs> carrying a tray of, of what appears to be oh, some no. steaming liquids. Uh, and says, oh, well, I, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, I just had uh, some tea for you. Uh, I only made four. And oh, he looks yeah. at the big bat wing creature with sweat pouring down his face. Um, the bat wing creature, bat -winged creature with that says, you have been warned, and no. fades away. Oh, he's gone? Oh, I was about to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just disappear? Damn. It uh, go the outside the room. It's shimmering, and then fades it's shimmering huh? Mm. Wow. What okay, so it's an apparition then. Sending or something. Wow. After being quiet for all the time, Molly reaches his favorite old man and whispers, What the fuck? <laughs> Molly, um, uh, Herbal says that. So are there only four of you then? And he looks around. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Her Herbal, you've never seen that thing before? No. Um, 
I can't say that I have. There's there's sometimes some quite odd things uh, that happen in this in this house, but nothing that I've seen of that size before. Normally, the things are quite 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 smaller than that. I I don't know quite to make of it. But would you like your tea? Uh, yes, take away, please, because we were just about to leave. Uh, it's, it, I made it special for you. You said you wanted it green. I, I found yes. some, some green back in the, the groundskeeper's cottage. Uh-oh. Uh, I, I think this tea will, will, will do quite the trick. Uh, it is, it is quite, a, quite a pretty green, I think, don't you think? Uh, y- yes, it, yeah, it, it is a green tea. And he, yes. he smiles and sort of holds up a tray, expecting to <laughs> All right, I'll take one cup and uh, open my uh, water skin and pour it in. Because <laughs> uh, we are k- k- kind of in a hurry now, if you excuse us. But uh, t- t- thanks for the patronage. Um, where's Sir Rears? Uh, where's Sir? I, I thought he was in here. I was coming to... Uh... <laughs> To bring the tea, but I'm surprised he, he, he oh. usually comes to get me before he, he leaves. Okay. Uh, but at any rate, I, I can show you to the door if, if that's what you wish. Uh, uh. And sort of looks around nervously. If somebody roll perception, or anybody can roll perception. Okay. Surprise. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, perception. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Pretty nice first roll of the evening. Um, so, Molly, you notice um, you're sort of quietly and, and carefully watching everything that's happening. Um, that what um, Herbal seems to be looking at when it ner- around nervously is not so much the direction where the, the bad things appeared, as you might expect, but he's sort of looking around the floors in the corners more than anything else and he seems to be quite edgy can you point me which corner oh he's looking at at oliver's corners sort of like looking around back oh i see just just looking around nervously i whisper to eleanor hey the guy is old look how he's looking around he's hiding something Because that creature is still watching us from somewhere. And then it always turns back. Mm-hmm. Um, Herbal in the meantime is offering everybody else tea. All right. Yeah, looking around nervously as he does so. Um, I'm going towards the door as well. If I move out here, uh, um, Sarias, uh, we're going. Aren't you gonna say goodbye to us, Natasha? No? Okay. Well then. Slowly make my way towards the door, sighing and trying to process what we just seen. <laughs> Herbal sort of follows you out towards the door, you yeah. know, in a, in a sort of a gentlemanly way, trying to uh, trying to get ahead of you to open the door, and, and says, well, "Well, well, be careful out there, and be careful of the rats." And yes, uh, R- what the rats? Oh, I never mind. Just uh, uh, take care, and uh, we'll we'll have a good day. Uh, you too, and uh, also please tell Sarias that, uh, well, good day. It was a pleasure talking to him. All right. Okay. Everybody Let's else, please. Go. Oh, wait, here's the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Silly, oh, silly, silly, silly me, silly me, yeah. All right. Uh, mm. Those times, Elena wishes she had the fine sense. Yep. 
Um, guys, what the heck just happened? If I look back, is Herbal still watching us? Uh, just from the door, yes. Creepy. Either creepy or just Japanese hospitality. Yeah, right. He's just sort of waving. Ah, okay, cool, cool. I'll wave back. Boy. <laughs> and exit stage, right, I guess. Okay. Uh, do you want to be on the map? I can put you back there so you can decide what you do. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That was scary. What? That creature is the reason Saria seemed confused, like he was trying to hide something. Maybe he knew he was being watched. Yeah, I mean, he immediately left when that creature appeared. Like, seems to have my my charm was broken as well at the same time. Hmm. The men in charge. All right, where to next? Shall we have a look at uh, the fort? We are not too far. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. While well, we're at it, sure. What time is it now? What time is it, Aiden? It's still pretty early. Um, so you had, you, if I recall correctly, you you got up and moving sometime. Not super early in the morning, but maybe around eight-ish, I think. And you went to Ofric's house. That probably took you, I don't know, not that long to get there, about half an hour or less to get there. And you looked around the place for maybe 45 minutes. So it was sort of mid-morning. By the time you left there, you got to sell Rias's, I'd say, at around 11. And you've been there for maybe an hour, so about noon, perhaps. Okay, let's say the fort first, and maybe another way back, so I hope so. And check, um, the of, uh, <laughs> See, it's a little hard to hear you for some reason. It, oh, really? Kind um, of a kind of a mechanical sound to your mic or something. Like a uh, fridge, maybe. Uh, uh, ventilator, down. maybe ventilator. No, but in the air conditioner is above me, but it's not that strong. No, it's quite strong. Uh, it's either maybe your microphone is quite sensible. Is this better? Can you hear me? No. Maybe just keep your your microphone closer to to yourself when you're speaking. Is it a is it a head mic or is it a uh, desk mic? I can't hear you at all now. Okay, I. Oh, it's good. I, is it better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's it. amazing. Thank it's you. Expensive. We yeah. love you. Uh, just like uh, Zoom, like uh, lagged, stopped responding for a few seconds there, and then it got better. <clears throat> I don't know what happened, but it just got better on its own. Okay, I'll keep it that way. That's good. Oh, no. It's back. It's back. No. <laughs> oh, why? That's so weird. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna mute my mic until I speak, basically. Alright. Okay, so... Castle? Yep. Alright. I guess... Okay, um... I guess we're going there straight. We can, like, we don't even have to go back to. You know, we can just go like this, right? Mm, it's a bit kind far. of. No? Is it? Ah, yeah, kind of. Well, 
question is, are they going to let us in? Maybe we should just observe uh, without any intent to go, or displaying any intent to go in. Oh, you mean just circle around it, kind of like p -p -p something? No, yeah, we can do that. J just get an impression of what's going on there. Okay. Just to describe it a little bit for you guys, so um, the, that that large black wall is not the the fort itself. It's sort of a, a walled area that mm. leads um, sort of out of the same as the, the wall of the city. Sort of leads out of the city, but there's a there's a, another wall that that further bind, bounds the city behind it. But within that little space that's marked as uh, Castle Ward, there's a hill. And up on top of that hill is where the fort is. So it's it's actually fairly small within that space. So you'd go in through that opening next to Slorius's estate and sort of go up the hill to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe we just go uh, in the general direction of the fort. On the, what okay. do we see then? Yeah. Just okay. keep your eyes. Uh, sure. open. Um, as I said, the fort is where most of the people go missing, seems like. So you head uh, in the direction of the fort. You see it in the uh, on this hill in front of you as you walk sort of across this main road in front of Silurius's estate. Um, it's, uh, it's sort of a stone, old stone building. Um, and you can see uh, partially collapsed um, tower, a single tower that's partially collapsed. And uh, just you still, still have the sense that you have in the rest of the town of sort of this darkness uh, and, and despair and brooding around the fort. Um, you see um, most of the, of the grass on the hill is, is dead. There's blackbirds circling over the fort and um, dead trees um, sort of Stepping their way up the hill towards towards the image of the, of the fort rising above it. Do we see any living creature? Creature. Well, where, are you still sort of at the very base of the hill um, where you've gone up to the fort, or are you come going up to the fort? The yes. Only yeah. Creatures you see right now, you know, from a distance, are, are sort of birds circling it. Okay. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm curious about this fort. All right, you lead the way then. Yep, yeah. so we proceed further. Okay, let me put you on that map. Uh, Oh, nice. Ooh. Actually, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's what I thought it was going to look like at one point, but then I decided that's a little bit too big. It doesn't look quite that. Never mind. Um, look at the oh. So it's more like ruins than. It is, than it is a very much ruins. Okay. Uh, is this the right one? Yeah, it looks like a European castle you would go and visit. Yeah, it looks very cool. I want to visit this place. Yeah, why not? What could go wrong? Ah, uh, superstition. Oh, there's a map for it, haha. Uh -huh. Okay. I guess we approach. Do we see here. a main entrance? Um, yes, you do. It's right on this path. Or, or it seems to be a main entrance. I guess here, I guess. Interesting. However, the main entrance appears to be blocked with rubble. Ah, uh, never mind. We'll uh, we'll try to look uh, around and see if sure. there is another entrance. Shall we go left or right? Uh, right I, looks better, I guess. I usually say left, but whatever you youngsters want to go to. No, either way. Okay, uh, let's go left. Okay, to the left. <laughs> Whoa. 
<laughs> wow. Dang it. Okay. Um, yep, so you can keep going around. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, Bas monsieur. Basically, we are looking for an aperture or something that could let us in. Sure, yeah. So far, um, Eleanor is going, is everyone sort of going around there with Eleanor? Yeah, sure. Keeping some yeah. distance, so I guess. Also that everyone's more or less up there with Eleanor. I'm just, uh, yeah, kind of lagging behind so that they don't disturb her stealth, but still keep an eye on, on her where she's okay. going. Oh, Eleanor, are you stealthing? And if you give me a roll. Or, or if you're not stealthing, it's whatever. I'm assuming you're just exploring. Okay. Not that good as to see right now, but All just right. to look in, look at from open gates. Okay, so as you get around to there, hold on a second. You notice um some rubble. Um and uh the wall around this uh, level appears to be partially collapsed, and there is a small dark hole that leads apparently into the fort from there. Do you do? I look around and oh, that that is Molly. Okay, I was dark about inside. to say. Go ahead. Uh, is it dark inside? Like, can I see if it screws that hole or? I can't see anything. Not from where you are there. You can go up to the hole if you want. It's, it's above the ground level, not ground level. Sorry, I, did, I couldn't hear you. Like, uh, do we need to climb to reach that hole? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's at ground level, yes. It's at ground level. Okay, so you go up to there, and you notice that around the hole... Um, where is this? One second. Uh, so the, the, the hole is approximately um, three feet wide and about four feet high. Um, and the, the, the wall that it goes into appears to have been quite thick. So the hole goes quite a way in. Um, and you notice that the hole itself um, and the stones around it appears to be greasy, kind of greasy, and also um, what appears to be blood, blood stains, coat a lot of the surfaces around it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm definitely trying to steal the game before going inside. Okay, I feel. Uh, let me do <coughs> Let me try. Okay, stealth. Where is my stealth? Just looks dangerous to go without Stealth, stealth, stealth. Stealth, here yeah, we are. Yeah, you're better than me. Okay, so what do we see inside? Uh, do you go through the hole? Yes, I'm stealthily going in. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting outside because yeah. I see it. What's everybody else doing? Molly and Purvis. Waiting outside the hole because it's around the corner there. Next time I'm going to <laughs> Yeah, we are debating if we want to go back to the inn. <laughs> no, we won't. It was kind of a gag, but... Okay, just... okay, okay. Well, then, yeah. we all show slowly, you know. Uh, I think it's alt, is it? Yeah. Just around the corner, you know. Just sneaking around the corner. Just trying to keep eyes on the two stealthy guys and girl. And Molly will hide behind him. Of course, they don't even know you're there. You can actually hide like under my robe or something. <laughs> Although it's that. smelly. Yeah. <laughs> but I did that. I'm like hiding in front of you. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Elvin, as you go through, and you're crawling through this this hole. You you see bits of hair and and torn fabric that are sort of clinging to the sharp rocks mm -hmm. and more more blood stains. As you go through, I have night vision, right? I'm a elf, so. Okay. Um, so you get deeper in, and let me reveal. Well, he's gone. 
let's mm. go back today and no okay oh well, how, how, how long is your uh, dark vision good for uh i think it's 50. let me check night vision night vision should be 60 i think six zero is it on the character sheet Trans dark vision. Okay, dark vision. Let me check. Sixty. Yeah. Oh, guys, let me grab a drink. Please continue. All right. Sorry, one second. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. I'm stealthy, so. Ah, uh, drop that on there. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um let me see if I can share with these guys. I'm back and what the fuck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh okay, what are you sorry? Oh, we, we can see these guys actually. You'll probably see them from the token wall app. I'll see if I can show better image. I mean. I cannot see them. I can barely see Elvin, I guess. Yeah, me, me neither and I, because I'm standing here. I mean, so you rolled a 15 on stealth. Uh, well, what's my passive? I might be able to see you. Da -da -da. Okay. Oh yeah, I can just about still see your silhouette, Elvin, but I cannot see anything else. And uh, I tell Molly, in halfling, like the half boy is gonna die. So, what are we that's seeing, that? GM? Uh, one second. So, it's only you that's seeing it at this point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that there's something inside here. Yeah, we don't know actually. So. I'm just standing outside next to the hall and I'm going to do that. Completion, completion. I can only probably see Alvin stopping for a moment as he sees these things, but I don't know why, of course. Why are you stopping, Alvin? What's wrong? Your Alvin eyes oh. turned off. She doesn't have a bra. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god. That thing she's that cape she's wearing. Yes. It's like a face or just fabric. Yeah. Um, these should be general impressions of what it is that you're seeing. But I'll give you a better description in one second. Um Oh she left her makeup on. Uh, oh my god. Wow. Nice. That's pretty cool. So some of them look like basically. Oh my god. Um, Elvin, give me a. Um, let me see. This I I wanted to sleep tonight, DM. Inside. A, either a nature check or. Um, So make a nature check. Nature? Nature. Anything else? Um, so, you know, I guess you can give me insight. Not insight. No, that's not right. It's not insight. Um, it's not insight? Could potentially be, I guess, or survival. Survivor, okay. Ooh. okay. Mm, I'm not interested um, in surviving. All, all you get a sense of is that that these things look vaguely familiar to you, not in terms of like someone you know, but in terms of like you get a sense that you you sort of know what these things are, but it's your family. Now it, you're it, it, you make it doesn't. Something doesn't fit. Okay. 
Um, anyway, they haven't noticed you yet, but um, they are, uh, they're sort of like, sort of wandering around in this open space inside the fort and uh, making some chewing and slurping noises as they're gnawing on something that you can't quite make out. Mm. I'm a bit curious, so I'm going to proceed a bit further to try to examine both things on what is in the in the room. Still trying to do it uh, quietly. Okay. Yep. Um, so you were sort of right at the edge of the tunnel there, but still within the tunnel. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Uh, yes. One second. I have to move to keep eyes on. Um, kind of. Uh, yeah. Maybe I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. I seem to have noticed you. Um, but you now can see a little bit further in. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him. Um, okay. Actually, it really does take a long time. Nice. Illinois is joining. I can go with you. All right. I'm just gonna stay right here. Yep. Sounds good. It's dark inside, correct? It is dark inside. Well, yes. then I don't even, even if I take a peek, I don't. I don't even so know. I see a bit further, right? Yeah. Okay. Do I see anything on the left corner? On the corner to, uh, the, the, to your right, um, as you're looking in, the, the, the northwest corner? You just uh, see a pile of No, rubble. in the purple um, area. Yeah, you just see a pile of rubble there. It's, can, let me see if I can reveal that. A pile of rubble. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm reckless, unfortunately. <laughs> it kind of bothers me that I can't see in the dark, so I might just turn into a wolf at this point. I will, I will, I will ride you. Okay. Okay. Sure. GM, I have a question. Anything? Uh, uh, how how tall is the the ceiling? The ceilings are quite tall. They're they're over twenty feet. Okay. Is there anything I can climb on or or use some uh, um, rope uh, grapple to to try to go above? Um. The way that, that um, it works is this, you've sort of come through this area, this wall, in, in this tube. Um, you'd have to sort of step out into the room uh -huh. in order to potentially climb or grapple upwards. Um, nice. You also notice that a lot of the, you know, there's a lot of uh, stones and rubble on the ground that are inside the room, uh -huh. um, which wouldn't necessarily make travel any more difficult. I wouldn't say it's necessarily... I mean, except in that big rubble place would certainly be, be difficult terrain, but, but the area in front of you wouldn't be difficult terrain so much as it would be perhaps noisy. I see. Okay, so I assess the situation as a high risk, and um, I don't see any benefit at this point to, to proceed further, so I'm going to backtrack slowly. Okay. Um, and I will describe... To, uh, to uh, Eleanor behind you. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you point to me to go back, I guess? Yeah. Okay. So I will describe to the rest of the team what I saw inside in a quiet voice. I'm a wolf. Eh? You've, can, you've uh, transformed to a wolf? So I pet yeah. the wolf. All right. But I recognize he has some kind of a small white beard. Yeah. So may maybe... Uh, mm, 
I'm wondering whether it's a Travis. Maybe. Hmm, not sure. Nice dog, doggy. Why is Travis? <laughs> I look at you puzzled. Okay, so I described to the rest of the people uh, what I saw inside and how I was uh, not feeling very comfortable. They look like uh, half dead, half uh, abomination with thieves on uh, chewing on probably human uh, uh, remains. The, the room looks very dark and uh, there are rubbles all over. Um, and it sounds very dangerous to proceed further in. Hmm. So what do you guys want to do? Anyone has a fireball? Um. <laughs> can't speak. Oh, cheers. There's my wolf. <laughs> um, well, I'm a wolf, so. Oh, yeah. Wolf Go inside. Mm. Okay. Oh. He uh, got scared. <laughs> hey Molly, are you are you still riding me? No, no, I'm not riding you. I was. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll go inside. Hey, give me a stop check if you're going to stop. Uh, I try. Well, actually, wolves don't have dark vision, which is pretty stupid. That's right. That's you could smell, perhaps. But yeah, um... hearing and smell, I guess. Anywho, wolf is plus two. Okay, so technically, I'll just roll my stealth and roll and add plus one to this one. So eleven. Okay. And, uh, are you uh, staying inside the tunnel, not going out into the room yet? Uh. I mean, I can't really see stuff, so I do step out. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll need you to get, give me one more stealth check as you step onto the loose stone. Yeah. To the sure. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, why am I not proficient in stuff? Damn it. Wait. <laughs> Just one. One. Oh. one. Is this wolf proficient in stealth? Oh, it is, plus four. So actually then the first one should have been 14. But anyways, second one. Uh, good thing that the wolf is proficient in stealth. Oh my god. So this one is going to be... Okay, oh. so that's minus one plus four. So 23 technically. Okay. Great, so you go out. Um, I think but I, you, you uh, give yeah. me a perception check too. Well, based on sight? Mm, I don't think it would be on sight. I mean, there's a little bit of light coming through the tunnel, so it would be extremely dim vision. Okay, so disadvantage. But also smell. Well, no, no, no. So, but, well, okay. I guess that's you if you want it. I, I think, let's start you with smell and hearing because as a wolf, I think that would be the first thing that you see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in that case, I get advantage. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. You definitely sense this thing in front of you. And okay. as you then turn your eyes directly towards you, you can dimly make out a shadowy figure. It's looking at nine o'clock. Okay. Um, Oh, so it's looking away from me right now. Sort of to the, to the left, to, oh, to the west. I jump on it. You jump on it? Yep. Okay. I'll roll initiative, everybody. <laughs> Whoopsies. What? Hold on, sir. I'm going to load this up. Uh... Ah, I forgot to... Yeah. I will fix it. Okay. That's fine. We'll put you in there. I wonder so if I... We'll edit it to... Uh... Huh. In this case, do I click on my wolf token for initiative or my original? Huh. Oh, I That's a good question. Either... Well, I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Huh. Yeah. Probably, Probably the original, not. Because I don't think the wolf token actually is attached to a character. Yes, correct. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay, so I'm uh, 11, but he didn't take it. 
Okay. 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 Just roll it again and edit it to uh, to eleven. Okay. Happy click. So I have plus one initiative here. So this is actually thirteen. That's pretty bad. Okay. Uh, uh, pretty bad. Damn it. I'm gonna oh. put old man around here for the time being. One of them moves first. Three are fast. Oh Unless if they're surprised. We should know. They got yeah. pretty high rolls. Yeah. That's really oh well, I mean, you go first, at least. No, I don't. One of them got 20. What? Oh, One shit. of them got 20. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That's bad. Oh, yeah, no, well. Range is one second, sorry. One second. And even after I move, they will gang up on you, basically. That's okay. Oh my god. We can fix that. Okay. So, um... Let's see, you were, what was your, your stealth was very high, right? I uh, rolled like 23. Yeah, okay. Um, where are you? No, we're down there, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give you um, first action for this because you're coming out of this tunnel and uh, you were in stealth when you did so. Woohoo, okay. Um. Oh, there's nobody next to me. Uh, that's that's not too good. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So I said I jump on him. Yep. Which means. Kill it. No, it's probably not. Uh, what is this uh, twenty-one thing that just appeared? I don't know. Me. Twenty-one thing. Yeah. Why is it twenty-one? Mm. <laughs> I think you just made you go oh, first. I just your, yeah, I just oh, your... you made me go first like that. Okay, got it. Sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I will do remember it's a 13. Okay. Um, right. Well, I don't have pack tactics, unfortunately, but I'm going to jump on him, which is a plus four. Do I get to add my stuff here? I don't think I do. Yeah. So it's all right. Here we go. I should have turned into a bear, but then I wouldn't have been able to fit through there. Um, so, so da, da, da. ooh, twenty-three to hit. This is with your your teeth. Uh, yeah, it's a bite. Yeah. Your teeth sink into the uh, the back of the neck of this thing. Haha! <laughs> exactly what I aimed. Two uh, D four plus two. Wow. Oh. Okay. Eight points of bite damage, piercing, non-magical. And you hear its neck crunch. In your okay. Teeth. And so, yeah, it is um, hanging limp. He doesn't need to make me a strength saving throw because I guess it's degree dead. Now I don't know where the next one is, so I'm just going to stay there for the moment. Okay. Um, very good. This one here, uh, here, um, well, I can't see it, but you hear it, yep. um, moving towards you and it's okay. sort of letting out a hiss. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. I gotta figure this out, which is this. Let's see if this guy can see you. Uh -huh. Um, uh, what is it? <coughs> is, 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 what is that? Um, oh, I think I'm dead. Well, oh, no, yeah. That guy. Only one guy gets to attack you before yeah. I go inside. And then you get your sneak attack on at least one. Yeah, we might be fine here. Well, I would have to attack actually. Unless they come closer, I can't actually reach them, so I'm gonna attack with my bow basically. Yeah, okay. you can 
You okay. guys can technically just stay there at the end yeah. of the tunnel and just p -p 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 arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need them to come forward because I don't have dark vision, so I can't actually see them in this call. Yeah. They come yeah. forward uh, to be the support. Same here, actually. I don't know why the wolf doesn't have dark vision. Something tells me it should, but I guess it doesn't haunt at night. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, does the bear have dark vision? But I assume you can smell them or hear them. Like they are eating uh, human beings physically. I'm sure you can hear them moving. Yeah. I could. Who's next? Sorry, I'm just doing a little bit of testing to see what can see you and what can't see. This, this ah. guy's next. Yeah, so. Wait, is it a brown bear? Oh, please, no. Here, like, oh, this brown bear. Huh. Sorry, I, I mean, should have thought of yeah. this, but I didn't think of it. Here we go. Okay. I guess it makes sense that these low-level creatures don't have dark vision. I guess. Because I won't be able to you know, polymorph into anything that's that has dark vision yet. Yes, this is what I'm looking at. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, yes, this one. Um, uh -huh. These are 10 feet, by the way, 10 feet squares rather than, uh, rather than oh. squares. Oh, these are 10 feet? Okay. Yeah, it's just gone 30 feet, so it goes to. Oh, so okay. Uh, make sure that this thing can in fact travel three feet. Uh, no, it cannot. It cannot. It does not make it you. So it's coming towards you. You can sense it coming towards you. Okay. Eleanor. Okay. Now, yeah, well, basically, I'm going to move inside. Twenty-five feet. Um, I'm sure, I can move diagonally, basically. And uh, well, I definitely can see these guys now because the light should be coming from the hole down. So I'm gonna shoot this guy or this girl basically with my short bow. Sorry, do, do you have dark vision? No, no, that's the thing. If if they were on the left side, I definitely wouldn't be able to see them. But now they came to the right side and. Uh, I assume that the whole, like the light coming from the hole should probably be like around this area. Like this area should be eliminated, the right side. So Can you give me a perception check, please. Sure. I mean, I'm gonna see if I should be able to, you know, be good in the dark anyways. Okay. It's very, very dim in there. Um, you can see vaguely a shape there, um, uh, but you'll have a uh, disadvantage if you're attacking because it's uh, dimly, it's dimly lit. Oh, fine. I mean, what is the point of being a if I can't see in the dark? But okay. I'm gonna attack it with my short bow. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's almost the same. Thirteen or twelve. Oh, okay. Um, which one are you attacking? The one the closest to you. Yeah. Okay. Because it's easier to hit it, I guess. Okay. Um, your arrow strikes it. Yeah. Oh, eight piercing damage. Eight piercing damage. And it takes it right in the chest and collapses. Yay! Although I just hear like a body. <laughs> That's it. Oh, now we need to worry about um, the guys in the back. Anything else, Eleanor? Uh, no, what? Sorry? Uh, sorry, just anything else on your turn? Uh, well, uh, I. I... I can't do anything else right now. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Let me see if I can do something. Give an impression or anything? Uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide. I mean, it's pretty dark anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide. Okay, give me a uh, cunning stop. action. Um, no, it's my cunning action, like my ability to hide. As yeah, as so that allows you to hide as a bonus, as a bonus action. And in order to hide, you need to roll a stealth check. Oh, okay, okay. Very good. All right, so you sort of fade off there in the corner. Then into the shadows. Hiding behind a piece of rubble there. Okay, great. 
Um, okay. here, basically. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, okay, now one down here. Can you guys see when I click like this? Can you see a yellow square? Or is that only me? No, uh, no. That's something you see when you put your your mouse around the initiative, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Focus. You we you don't see that? I think it's only for you. Okay. I never so know. We can do the same only if we put the or cursor in the initiative marker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think so. Right. So anyway, this one down here, yep, is mm -hmm. um, advancing. And that's all it does. And this one down here is also advancing. Yeah, Fervis now just realized what big trouble he's in. <laughs> this one here is. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, give me a perception check, both Furbus and Eleanor. Oh, okay. Um, and Fervis, so you can you can determine whether you're going to do that by. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think it's probably by sound or smell. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you can you can both uh, see these shapes, sort of shapes looming towards you, um, and you sort of hear rustling sounds of of uh, feet on stones. Yep. Moving towards you. Um, give me one second. Okay, and they're they're also sort of making these crying sort of gargly growling sounds. Okay. Well if a wolf if a wolf could piss his pants, uh he would be pissing it now. Okay. Um and it is uh Molly's turn. Okay. Richard. Yep. I need to ask you something. Yep. By moving here. How here? How far can I see? I don't have dark vision. Um, it's dimly lit, so I mean, I guess you can you can make out shapes probably at half the normal vision. So let's say it's like thirty feet. You can see like dimly. I don't have the, the book in front of me, but it's a, a, let's say thirty feet. You can see dimly. Oh, great! Shapes. My interest is point. if I can summon here. My yeah. okay, so. The, I just checked the description of the spirit. Yep. It says it's made of fire, but it doesn't say anywhere if it lights up. But I guess it showed a bit. Yeah. Produce light. Yeah. Okay. I think so it would. That's what I will do. I will what, summon what my spirit. Pendant, what pendant are you wearing, Molly? Uh, my original one. Okay. Here. Oh. Nice. So those two guys have to use the usual. Uh, let me copy the skill. Yep, thanks, appreciate that. <clears throat> and I guess your 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 spirit sheds light, correct? Yeah, that, that's the main point why oh, I Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so they have to roll a dexterity save against let me double check against thirteen. I think I should write it here so next time you can see it. Yeah, it's dexterity against 13 to dodge the damage. Okay. Check the other one. Check the same. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, uh, one and two. One and two. So it's versus a 13, right? Okay. Yeah. The, um, and if they, they meet, then they, if they match it or exceed it, then they succeed? Yeah, basically, if they succeed, they get zero damage. So they have to match it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Eat it. Okay. Uh, and what's the damage? The damage is 10. 10. Okay. So this one erupts in flame, screams, and crumples to the floor. 
Um, and this one sort of scurries out of the way. Okay. Or was he? And here? instead of using my free action to attack with the spirit, I use the dodge action with the spirit. Okay. And that's my turn. Very good. Cool. Oh, yep. Uh, I'm going to move inside the, the conduit. So I'll do. I think because these, and I apologize for the distances here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to make it past Molly. What's your movement? 30? It's uh, it's more, but it's uh, probably. Oh, no. Uh, where's my movement? 35. 35, okay. So you can go sort of just on either side of Molly there, just just up to around where the wolf is. Okay, so I'm going on the right side. I'll show you. Okay. And I will, uh, uh, I'm pulling my bow and I will shoot the guy in front of me. Okay. Um, so now it's uh, lit, so you can do it without disadvantage. You yeah, see also but I have dark vision, so I don't oh, think you wouldn't anyway. That's right. Uh, okay. There is. You also can all see that there is some door there that's kind of barely hanging on its hinge. What else can you see now that it's lit? There's a similarly nice. a door here that is also looks to be uh, in barely, you know, recognizable okay. form. So I keep this in the corner of my mind and try to shoot an arrow at the thing in front of me. Okay. Um, go ahead and look. 16. And the arrow strikes it. Yeah. Oh, with mm. seven damage? Yeah. It is staggered, it is not uh, fallen down, but it looks like it's severely injured. There's blood pouring out of the, the wound that the arrow has made in its chest. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> and that's it for a moment. Okay. I took a picture of the beautiful map, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so now this one that's been hit by the arrow, it kind of, um, you know, looks confused and injured and perhaps a little bit afraid, and it sees this fire thing in front of it, and it starts to slink away in this direction. Um, do you have attack of opportunity with your spirit, Molly? Uh, I believe, I, I'm not sure, to be honest. I if she called, there is a reason she called. She can't do that. But it's a bit weird because to make her attack, I have to use a free action. So I don't think she has a reaction. Let me check. Let's assume she doesn't have one for now. And I will check. Okay. I don't think she can do that. There's something I recall that she has to do using your reaction, I think. But I think that was for her attack, right? Maybe, not. maybe that's I, I, I can't find anywhere for right now. Let's just play, and maybe next time I will yeah. check it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So no, no attack of opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So that's all that that one does, uh, and it is Fervis's attack now. Fervis is turning in. Now before that, um, everybody, give me perception. Sure. Ooh. Do you want me to roll for the spirits too? Uh, if she has her own perception check, then yeah. She has passive perception 12, actually. That's good to know, too. Yeah, actually, it's a really good point. I should have, yeah. should have thought of that ahead of time. Oh. Oh. Finally see. Oh, well. Yeah. You know, it's 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 not that loud at this point. You hear... Um, how do I do this drawing thing? Oh, it's a hearing thing? Okay. Yeah, it's a hearing thing. Then double. Yeah, the spirit did 19. 17. You're coming deaf. from this direction. Um, uh -huh. Some more noises and growls. 
and there seems to be more as well coming from somewhere over down further this way. Hmm. You just hear noises. Um, Fergus, your turn. Hmm. Or uh, should, shouldn't I be back in the normal order? Uh, well, if you, I, I don't know. At this point, it's sort of, it wasn't really a surprise round. It was more just I put you at the head because you. Oh. A... Uh, you, you can um, just uh, put me back now, I guess, in between. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. just to rearrange the thingy and then, yeah, that's it. Okay. Eleanor. Cheers. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'd like to attack that guy. And um, this guy didn't make any. Yeah, I'm gonna move just a little bit, but just one attack from hiding basically without him seeing me because I hired last time. With a pawn for two This guy didn't make it in this in the uh. This guy made it in the uh. Initiative. Did he? Yes, he did. So. I well, I hired it last time, so I should have advantage of that. So I suppose this should be 23. Like that. And I hit it with four piercing damage. And I can do a sneak attack on it now. Uh, um, wait, I'm sorry, you're doing. Oh, you're shooting with your arrow for a sneak attack. Is that it? Yeah, because I was hiding. So yeah, I yeah, that's fine. Long. That's totally cool. Uh, it's uh, 4 plus 7, so 11 damage. 4 piercing and 7 normal attack against the sneak attack. And you're shooting against which one? This guy. To the right. Okay. To the right. So uh, your arrow joins um, the arrow of Elven and it shrieks and slams up against the wall and then collapses in a bloody heap. Only one guy left, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, anything else? You're going to try to hide again? I guess. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm going to hide again over there. Um, uh, is that in the sneak of seven? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm okay. going to roll. Yeah, I'm going to roll this one. Uh, again, it's 15. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. That's fine. Okay. Um, it's her nights. Who's her name? That's uh. Fervous turn, right? Uh, he, yeah, because that guy is dead, I guess. Yeah, it's your turn now. All right. Um, question DM. So this is like, uh, I can't point. Sec. So this right here is like a closed door. Yeah, it's a closed door that's barely hanging on its hinges. It's clearly rotted. It's ancient. Huh. Not maintained. Okay. And I heard voices from over there, but. I'm kind of more concerned with what I can actually see right now. Uh, so these are 10 feet, correct? So that would be 40, which is just about the wolf's movement, if I recall correctly. And yes, I can move 40 feet. Yep, that no one survive. Boom! And I would like to do the same as last time, uh, go for the neck. Okay. Um, even though they are running away, uh, I'm not sure if I want to let them go. And 17 to hit. Yep. You, okay. Uh, jaws close around its skull. Cool. Five piercing damage. Um, and believe it or not, it drops. Oh, I, I don't believe it. <laughs> wow. Okay. And uh, I guess I just look back at the group. That's it. End of my turn. As you do that, um, 
Molly and Elvin hear a banging noise. Uh, and then you see a shape of something starting to come through that door to the right. I see. And below, another creature's, creature emerges. All right, so, so is that, those doors are open now? Uh, I mean, they were kind of rickety anyways. They're just sort of coming yeah. through. I was actually thinking about like, busting through one of those because they looked like, you know, on the hinges, but... Mm. It made the job easier for us, I guess. I guess so. Sorry, Richard. Yep. I, I think we can see here. I, I don't think there is not nothing useful, but can you read oh, me? Yeah, let me reveal it all. Thank you. <laughs> Just in case, you know, monsters are in ambush. Oh. <laughs> ah, thank God. Okay. Uh, it looks more beautiful now. Yeah. And Boo's turn now. It's monster's um, turn. It is Ferguson's turn. Oh. Uh, I've just had my turn. I just uh, finished this. Oh, that's dude. right. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So it's Molly. Molly. Okay. So I move one, two, three here. This person opened the door here. Yep. So I will cast a firebolt here. Okay. I'm um, sorry, Molly, where were you before that? Just remember these are 10 feet. I, I was network. here. Okay. I was here. So I did one, two, three. It should be 50. Okay. On the right. 30. Yep, that's fine. Uh, and then try this. It's a 14 for five damage if it hits. Okay. Um, it does hit it. Um, and it, the firebolt explodes on its chest and sort of staggers, um, but does not. Huh. It looks quite singed. Then with a free action, the spirit will cast a fire seed here. It's casting what now? Uh, air basic attack. Okay. And what's the range of that? It's, let me double check. I think it's 30 feet, but let me double check. Uh -oh. uh, fire seed, it's 30 feet, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I can't, one, two, can't three, that. four, five. Oh, no, maybe it's not in range. One, yeah. Two, it's thirty feet. Yeah, it's wow. not. It's but, ah, there is another one here. Yeah, yeah. she could do that one. I thought that's the one that you were shooting at before. Was it? Oh, I'm sorry, the one you were shooting at before was down here. No, I was shooting here. I was yeah, shooting. Yeah, I, I thought. I thought he, he was down. Uh, okay, well, then yeah. I will shoot there. Okay. Wow. Oh. I said it's the five damage. That's good. Good kill it. Sorry, one second. Let me just check my thing. It's too late now, but um, yeah, good. Okay. And that's my turn. Yep. And it um and it goes down. Nice. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but are these like, uh, what, what's it called, like death holes? Like in castles where they used to shoot arrows out of? Arrow slit. Yeah, arrow uh, slit or whatever it's called, yeah. You know, I think I think they may once have been. Um, you okay. can't really see anything through it. It's all crumbled and collapsed. Okay. Um, but it may once have been. Oh, interesting. This thing is truly ancient and terrible disrepair. Yeah, it's been a while that I guess they built this fortification. I'm surprised the roof is still intact. Yeah, me too. I'm really surprised I wasn't touched yet. <laughs> yeah, it looks weird, but um, I gotta ask the other GMs at the at the table here for a rule advice thing. I'm adding additional creatures to the initiative order. Do we all re-rule initiative for that, or do I just Add them at the bottom. I'm inclined to add them at the bottom. I think that's yeah. 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 
think that's the way to go. Okay. So I'll have to redo this in a second. Oh. Is the list is getting longer. Uh, who would have thought that this old ruined fort is full of undead? Question mark. I guess these are undead. Some things. They're definitely not demons. It seems um, like. So uh, now that you're on there, if you since you've had a kind of a moment um, as new things are coming through. Um, you can roll nature or survival. Try Great. To look at these things. Uh, let's see. Just wondering, like, no, not the wolf. Character sheet, nature. I guess nature or survival. Nature. Well, I mean, survival is better, but I think I'm just gonna do nature. Oh, oh, wow. oh nice. Okay. Purvis, you, uh, you, your wolf nailed it. Unfortunately, your wolf can't tell anybody about it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can throw away a whisper. That's not true. That's not true. No? You can wolf it? Ah, I didn't put the charge on it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> why do I whisper something? Uh, just, uh, I think, slash W, and then... Ah, sorry. No, verifier. No, 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 it's not related. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like slash W, and then if I want to, for example, mm -hmm. whisper to you, Richard, uh, then I just put your name in there. Okay. Oops, what did I do? Oops. Oh, yeah, there it is. Do I need a quotation mark? I don't think so. That... Well, if you can just see what I've just sent you, then I guess not. You just slash yep. W space name space. But actually, message. Richard, there is also another way. If you um, hover your mouse on a player's avatar in the chat, you can find there is like a, a comic balloon icon. If you click there, oh, really? you basically move that player in a private talking room. Ah, oh, really? And other players will not hear you. Yeah. Oh, 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 secret, secret. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, GMing the other game made me an expert of Roll20. Wow. Right, I've just gotten this, and hopefully this will work. In I think it worked. I can see it. Yeah, it says to you. So. Oh, and that's all I'm saying. In in wolf, you hear the wolf go. Oh. <laughs> um, I can't talk to animals. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Um. But others can give a quick nature check if they want. Maybe if they sure. Want. Makes sense, actually. So... <laughs> I'm a druid! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if Ferris dies... Oh, oh. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, never mind, there's more things coming. Yeah, if Ferris uh, dies, then the secret goes with him. <laughs> uh, no, I think I, I noticed something. Not quite, you know, the perceptive type, but I noticed something. Well, the wolf looks back at Eleanor and winks at her, as if, you know. Well done, Wolfie. Um, oh, did I, I lose a combat tracker or did I go down? Sorry. Oh, uh, you can... You can just yeah. Yeah, summon it back again. Summon, summon, summon the turn order. Yes, with an arcane ritual. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Molly, you've had your turn, right? Yeah, I'm done with it. Okay. Well, then. 
Um, yep. Yep. Um, do do I do I see something on my um, that would be on the screen on the right? Do the I right think of, I can uh, close the door? Yeah. Or? I think you can. Uh, I think from there you can see a little more. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, okay. no more are coming. Um, as a matter of fact, um, Eleanor, can see, Eleanor can see straight through there. So I'll just reveal this straight down that way. I, I should be able to see that way. Yeah, probably this is uh, the fire sort of goes to right there. Let's say you, get, you can see about that far. OK. Yeah. Or I shouldn't be able to see the guys down there, but I definitely think that we have yeah. at least two more over there. Yeah, I sort of see, feel like the, uh, the the light from the, the spear is sort of bouncing around the room that you're in and sort of spreading a little bit into the adjacent rooms, but not too much. Hmm. Damn, why am I in full form? It just... I kind of want to tell you guys because it's it makes sense, but... <laughs> <laughs> it makes so much sense now. I try to perceive, uh, to make a perception roll to see if I, I notice something special with uh, the wolf. And if I manage that, I want oh, to- the wolf is agitated. In. Yes, okay, the wolf <laughs> is agitated. So I'm talking to the wolf, hold on. Uh, where is my talking to wolf? Uh, animal handling. You want animal handle me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you tell the Sydney sits. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, you already told me uh, to go inside, so I did. Yes, I have speak with animals. Actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I speak with, uh, hey, Wolfie, what's going on? <laughs> uh, do I have a reaction to answer? Um... Why don't they just sure. do wolf voices like, you know, ooh, kind of singing? Sure. I'll give you a reaction to, to, to answer. All right. So all of you, except Alvin, hear a lot of woo, 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 and stuff. But Alvin uh, can make out um, the notion of um, these, uh, you these creatures. Do you, uh, huh? you want me just to send Alvin the, uh, what I sent you? Oh, yeah. That, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah. what I could do is uh, I repeat out loud exactly what the okay well, the wolf is telling me, so everybody okay. can hear. So okay, you then. are telling me that yes, these then. creatures are yeah that these creatures are basically uh, there were once nymphs and tieflings, but now they seem to have transformed. Okay, I'm very grateful for this information, Wolf. Uh, I know. And then I get away uh, from the entrance door here, and I, I move back from here. So okay. that's around uh, 15 feet. So, uh, they're 10, so it's around 20 or so feet there. Yeah. Do I get to shoot uh, the things that are in front of me? Um, well, you've used one action for your speak to animals. Yeah. Um, so that was your action. Do you have a... Uh, you're using you're using a swing. No, I don't think you do. For the no, bow, I, think, I don't uh, think, you do. I think you can't attack this turn, yeah. Unless but, you have a bonus action that lets you attack. Uh, um, he has I two know, weapon I mean, fighting, so if he's I think. So if he's attacking with two weapons that are melee. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have a melee. Hold on. But I don't think that works with the bow. Well, I mean, I think you have to attack with your ah, main okay. action and then... Okay, so since I have already spent, uh, what, 20 feet? Right. Uh, I have 15 feet left. Do, can I reach the, the thing in front of me? Uh, there's, everything in front of you there is dead. No, I see two um, on my, on the left, uh, on the right side of the screen, I see two creatures. Oh, no, th those are 10, 20, 30. Those are 40 feet away from me now. Okay, so I'm getting ready um, with a sword now. And I'll take as a bonus action a dodge one. 
Um, okay, so you're, what, what do you want to do? You want to change from your bow to your swords, you're saying? Ah, I see. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll change <clears throat> my swords. So okay. you could, yeah, you could do that. You can use your item interaction to draw your swords as a uh, as an item. Yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. I'm just okay. it. But hey, I mean, I've never seen a combat use of speak with animals before, so that's <laughs> <Yeah>. first. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm used to animals, so... There you are. I use them tactically. Okay, next. Okay. Um, you know. Okay, well, um, I see these guys coming through the door now, so I'm gonna attack the nearest one from the front. And uh, I'm attacking from hiding again, so I have advantage on it. Taking off my short walk again. Nice. 20, and it hits for 7, and I roll for sneak attack as well. So... Okay, I hit it for 17 damage. 7 piercing and 10 sneak. Okay. Um, okay, it goes down. That's one. One more. And I go It's back. going to be a little harder for you to hide now um, at this time because that room that you're in is now lit. Just so you know. Can I hide inside here if I go here? You can you can get you can sort of get behind some rubble I think or as well. yeah like like uh, you know like moving is this hidden if I go here like I was here now I go here inside you see yeah I'll let you do it. sure just give me a roll of stealth check I still need to roll anyways yeah it makes sense like the light would be like this I roll yes sir uh, um, all right, I'll check later and see if that works yeah. on their uh, perception. I will reveal you. <laughs> Not the uh, uh, that's that's mean. That's I'm, mean. Uh, I'm joking. And Molly is not a mean character, as far as I remember. But Andrea is. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm dealing with Andrea, not with Molly now. Purvis. Okay. Uh, I see two more of these thingies. So I charge with a howl and uh, try to pounce on this dude. Uh, well, lady. Hmm, interesting. I think that big mobility is really awesome. That's really good. Uh, 11. 11, you hit it. Um, really? This leg, yeah. Amazing. These are just basically. You know, they're not, they're dressed in sort of rags. Oh, they're the minions, I see. <laughs> okay. For the minions. That's a 10. 10 piercing damage on the sexy lady. You basically rip its leg off. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, well, I can't move anymore, so I just, yep. Um... I'm playing with the with the leg bone. It's a bonus action. Okay. Uh, that's that's my turn. turn. Okay. Okay. Um, one second. How am I still alive? These guys are pretty weak. Yeah, they are. Which makes me think that there's a. <sighs> A bigger yeah. fish around here or something. Okay, so you see movement. Get rid of these guys because they're just interfered now. <laughs> it's like an army of zombies. Yeah. Wow. Well. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then you are in trouble. No. Oh. Oh boy. What? So you hear a lot of sort of growling and hissing. Uh oh. 
Um, oh, what happened? This one is which is that one? Oh, let's go. Okay. Mm. And this one advances and and it gets right up in your face. Yeah. But finally, someone will have an attack. Which one is it? Let's try. So this is good. Sure that's gone. This one, okay. Um, right. Needs to hit a 16 if he decides to do something with me. Yeah. I don't actually look at what these guys can do yet. Okay, so it, it reaches out with its sort of misshapen hands and tries to sink its teeth into you. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Before. Okay. Anything else? Um, let's see. No. That's all Poison? Disease? Nope. Corona? No? Okay. <laughs> it, you know, it's kind of gross, but you know, you're a dog, so it doesn't bother you too much. Yeah. Um, okay, that is it. And so we've gone through all these. It is. Molly. Richard, confirm yes. me again. Each square is 10 feet. Yeah. Okay. Then I will move. And since I have 25, how should we manage it? Should I move it halfway? Yeah, I don't know. Just maybe like this. Doesn't make whatever. For yeah, example. Doesn't make much difference. Okay, I will move here. And I'm quite concerned for my old man friend. Okay. So. I know they will take half the mage from me, but whatever. I will cast an half uh, fireballs here. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. There, there, there. Is that your firebolt? I assume is a range of like 120 feet or something, right? Yeah, it's it's written there. See, yeah. 120. Yeah. And I think I hit. I, I did a nice 24, but it's not a crit. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's it. only for the mage. You hit it there, in the uh, in the leg, and it sort of. Pats at itself to try to put out the fire, um, but it's still coming. Sure. Then my free action makes my spirit move, actually. Okay. And the spirit's fly movement is 30 feet, so three squares. One, two, three here. Okay. Should I get That's rid of some of these dead ones just so we don't get confused? No. Sure. Okay. You can remove this if you want. Okay. Yeah, got it. So maybe Z will have more ease hiding now, I guess. Uh, and yeah, that's my turn. I got to compare of how many of those things were there before because they're now gone. I just leave four. It was like six of them, right? Something like that. Maybe. Mm. I think it was like six. Yeah, six. All right, called six. Doesn't matter for you guys later. Um. Okay. Sorry, Mod. So that, that's it. Or, or is your spirit going to attack? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I am. I can't because I use the free action to move it. Oh, I see. You need to Works like this. To move or attack. Yeah, exactly. I get it. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Elvin. Yeah. Your swords. I have uh, my two swords, and uh, I'm uh, boldly facing this uh, row of uh, zombie-like uh, creatures. How far away am I from the first one? Uh, 20 feet. All right, I charge. All right. And I try to block the entrance. Okay, yep. And uh, uh, there's we... sort of a half cave door as well, so the, entr the entrance is not super clear anyway, so you can, you can pretty much Sure, yeah. only one at a time is going to come through. Uh, I will just uh, hack everything that is uh, uh, going through. Okay, so you're going to attack this one in front of you? Yeah, so short sword, first one, one second one. So, and the second one, this is you have two weapon attacks, so yeah, difficult, right? Okay, so the first one misses, um, mm. swings through the air and sort of splinters the, the remnants of the door next to you and golden droplets of a rod of wood falls down and then the oh. second swing with your second blade stabs through and hits this thing in the chest um, and it sort of hangs there on your blade but it's still trying to come at you. I see. Uh, 
Not good. Okay. Anyway, I'm trying to block the entrance. And I shot, hey guys, there are more coming here. The dwarf looks at you and you can still understand. And he says, wow, what a hero. Mm. I'm a bit busy here, doggy. Well, I can see that. And that's it. I don't think you have another action. I'm just trying to block this uh, this entrance. Okay. Uh, Yenor, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to move basically to this corner over here because I want to get a clear view of these guys. Yes, if I'm behind, I won't be able to see them. Okay. And just so you can... know, um, I believe the way that works is if you move out of cover, you're no longer hidden because you're moving there. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. So, I take directly. Then never mind. Yeah. <laughs> can I see these guys? Okay. You can see them there, but they would have three quarters cover. About one to do with them. Okay. Let's just attack. Okay. Okay. Twenty-four to hit. Wow. Cover or not, you hit him. No, good for. Your arrow goes, goes whizzing right past Eleanor's ear and straight into the eye socket of the uh, of the creature in front of it, and oh. it, it flies um, backwards and sort of half into the one behind it. Whoops! I just missed. Which one is it? Yeah, not that one. Is this one? Um, I'm just going to delete it. So it is gone. Oh, I had another 10 damage from the sneak attack, but I guess it's not the game anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now I, I think Elwin can close the door now because this I think this guy just pushes the door from the other there's, side. There's not much to that door. It's, it's basically hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> just trouble. Um, okay, so you still have a movement action if you want to take it and a, uh, and a bonus action. Yeah, I'm gonna just move to that. Well, yeah, but never mind, actually, because I want to visit you and just use the guys now. So I'm just gonna stay there and hide them. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to hide again. Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Um, okay. Service. Oh, okay. Uh, I, so I still have the bone in. Uh, in my uh, my jaw, so I guess I'm going to, I mean, still pounce him. Uh, yeah, but kind of just for flavor, hit him with the bone in the head or something. Uh, let's see if it hits. Seventeen to hit. So, and so what are you? You're, you're flinging the bone at him. Yeah, let's say I'm trying to wield the bone in my in my mouth like one of those one of those dark souls. I love it. I love it. Right. It's an improvised Ooh. weapon. Um, yeah. So oh, so minus two, so fifteen. Yeah. That's right. You don't hit your uh, proficiency, right? Yeah. Okay. So f then uh, fifteen to hit. Fifteen to hit. <laughs> you hit him with yeah. Bone. <laughs> Just f flinging with the bone in 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 my jaw and. Okay. Uh, uh, that's do you do damage? Give it, I'll give it a d4 on, on a bludgeoning damage. It's really, I don't know. What's okay. your strength? Uh, as a wolf, uh, not much. Uh, da, da, da. I should probably not close this off. Probably not a d4, honestly. It's like a d4 divided by two. Yeah, plus sure. Plus one, so I guess one d4 plus one damage. One, one d4 divided by two plus one. I don't think it's a. It doesn't count as a club. Well, does it? Eh, it's a no. It's like a. I don't know. Uh, no, it's 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 like a meaty thing. It's cool, but uh, roll one d four, divide the result in two, then add your one. Okay, so one d two plus one. How about that? Yep. <laughs> two. two. All right. You hit the thing, um, in its head, and it, you know, it sort of staggers, um, and actually, you 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 know, you you, you seem to have bruised it. Bruce it. Okay, cool. Well, um, can he make me a strength saving throw? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, DC 11. Ah, meets it, beats it. Okay, good. Well, um, what would that have done just out of curiosity? 
are prone. Oh, cool. Because uh, oh, so it's basically if I do this attack, then uh, then uh, if he fails the strength DC, he just falls back. Although to be fair, I is didn't really. Or is that a is that a thing having to do with a? Oh no, that's a, that's a wolf thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a wolf thing. Um, but I still have the bonus section thingy actually. And right, what I'm gonna do it again, just spin around and uh, hit him again in the jaw with the bone. Just do okay. like a, a corkscrew. This is uh, your this is your kung fu wolf. Yeah, th this is the kung fu thingy. I love that. Okay. The That's right. Wolf fu. Um. So this time I guess. Well, no, it's the same. So improvised weapon. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> is that four to hit? Yeah. Yeah. It, oh well. It, it sails, you know under his uh after that it's very close to him well i basically lose grip of the bone in my in my jaw and just flies <laughs> away that's right. okay yeah fair enough that was fun uh, Next. Is that it? yep okay One second this New movements first. Oh, you can probably see a little further now, can't you? Too. Uh, uh, that thing's so Let me do a little more here. I guess. Oops. I think maybe you go like just a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I think like that exactly. Yeah. Like you, you like. All right. Yeah. Now we're getting swarmed. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um change of plans. Okay. Um so those two two three moving okay. Well, which is which? That one, that one, that one, that one. Okay. This one is going to attack the wolf. And wildly flays at the uh, wolf, but doesn't come anywhere close. I wish I still had the bone, then I would have said I um, dodge it with the bone. <laughs> but, uh, well. Um, sorry, where was that? Was that one's track? Was that one? That one? Okay. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. Um, then this one down here does the same thing. Okay. It swings. Ah, oh, that's a hit. And its claws Yikes. grab into your hind leg. Yikes. So I'm at your flesh. Yeah, that's that's a good hit. Um, this one up here moves to attack Elvin. Oh. Okay. Bring it on. And swings viciously. Does a 14 okay. hit. Oh. Okay. That's your AC. Your AC is 14, I think, right? Yes. Okay. So it hits slashing at your torso for eight slashing damage. All right. Okay. It's actually quite a lot for this. I mean, it's missile maximum. Wow. Dumb. Okay. Um, okay. It's that one. So eight. It's 24. Uh, last one. The one that, that had been boned. <laughs> um, attacks. It's probably gonna knock me out of my wild shape. 
Yep. Uh, mm. Knocks me out of my wild shape. Nice. Okay. No problem. Uh, um, for now. Go outside? Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna move this guy here for now and move myself back. So I pop out of wolf form. Okay. And I'll adjust my, my HP and stuff. So one damage carries over. This nothing but a flesh wound. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and it is Molly's turn. Okay. Uh, I will move here. And I guess shoot another firebolt here. Okay, just so you know, the one down here had already been hit once and ah, then, one injured. If that then, yeah. then, yeah, I will redirect it here. Okay. And here's the firebolt. Your so firebolt for six damage. Your firebolt hits it and its head ignites and it screams and sort of staggers back into here and then collapses into a ball of flame. Basically. Nice. Then with the free action, I move my spirit here. Okay. And that's it. Good. Elvin. Yep. So I'm going to slash with my two weapons at the thing in front of me. And I'm going to go backward after that. If I kill it. Yep. One sword. One sword. Um, okay, let's see one at a time. So six. Okay, your first hit um, slices through its chest and it collapses yeah. before you even use the, the second attack. Okay, so I'm going to retreat uh, to the center as far as I can. Okay. And um, uh, as a. It's 35, right? Yes. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. That's around here. Yes. And as a bonus action, I'll ready my uh, bow. Okay. Guys, more coming our way. Um, great. Eleanor. Well, don't okay. bring him here. <laughs> <laughs> you now have a clear shot in front of you. Could you want to take it? Okay. Um, I would like to do something, but tell me if I can do this with my action and my fast hands as a, as a bonus action, basically. So, uh, what I want to do is to come here and I am going to basically spill some oil in front of the entrance, uh, outside the door, basically. There, there's a problem um, with yeah. that, and I apologize for not having flagged this further. I put, I put something in the journal I meant to call your attention to it. But when you were on that ship, you used your flasks of oil. Those are expendables. Um, so you actually don't have any oil left. If you recall, yeah, I you used two oils on the ship. Yeah, I, I was like spilling. Okay, fine. I yeah, spilled all of it. Each okay. one, I, I checked this out and I included this in the journal. Each time you use an oil flask like that, you can do it. Um, but it uses up one flask. And it covers just a five foot area. There's, if you'll check the journal later on, you'll see it. Sorry, yeah, um, yeah. It's in there. So, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we, we will yeah. shoot them as no, we come. I was asking, that's why I was asking if I can do it or not. So now I know. Yeah. So, good thing to ask it. I'm just going to attack Dark Ethan. I'll attack that guy. Shoot that guy? Okay. Yeah, just attack from hiding. Yeah. 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 Attack that guy. 22. And give it a sneaky. And basically five piercing and eight sneak attack. So it gets like 13 damage. Okay. And this one goes down and drops. Trying to hide again. So hey. stills. And it's an 80. Back to hiding. Okay. Oh. That's my dad. I could eat it. 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 I could eat it
e, e nota <laughs> think Andrea forgot to mute no actually I have my other game open and oh. randomly, completely randomly two of the players joined and started talking <laughs> I need to close it yeah so <laughs> Wow. It was unexpected. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it's funny. All right. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, DM, could you fetch me the bear, please? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's bear time. Oh, by the way, Richard, yeah. I realized, yeah, the spirit can move normally. I don't need to use the free action. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, but it's okay. From now on, I will use it more. Okay. Now, now we know. Uh, yeah. but, by the way, I have just a question. Is there a creature behind that creature? Because uh, this is the guy that I knocked out earlier, and I think he moved in behind in the arc. So, um, or is this a new one? That, that's the only one that you see right now, is that one right there. That's that's not the one that I just I just deleted the one that you shot. The one you shot was right in front of that guy. Okay. Thank you. Uh... Whoa! What just happened? What's this? Oh, I'm just rolling its HP. Oh, I see. Oh, is that what you have to do each time? Yeah, I mean, I could take the 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 one there uh, on the on the sheet or I can just roll for it. Okay. I usually roll for it because it's, it's more randomness. I actually got like below mm -hmm. average, so it's more fun. Uh, yeah, anyways, that's my uh, bonus action. And okay. then as an action, I'll do the multi-attack thingy. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I think can I, actually control it yet. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Uh, no worries. There we go. Now you should be able to control it. Oh, I... Coolio. All right. Well, I think I was here or there. Yeah, I think yeah, no, you're right here. Point, right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. Well, multi attack. Um, one with bite, one with claw. Let's start with the claw first. Uh, good old, good old claw. Uh, it's a dirty twenty. Uh, I rake, it, yeah, I rake the one. Ah, uh, just the one that's right in front of me. Let's say, uh, I rake him with. Oh, okay. Two D four. I just give him a slap. Uh, nine points of damage. Which way are you slapping him? Um, I guess I'm, oh, well, that's a good question. Well, okay, uh, if I roll a 1, I'm left-handed. If a 2, then I'm, uh, yep. I'm right-handed. So I'm left-handed, so then I slap him to the right, yeah. To left-handed, so yeah, to his right, okay. He uh, flies into this one. Cool. And as a, with missing half of his face, he is on... Um, Quite dead. Nice. And this one sort of staggered. Ah. Sort of staggered aside, more or less into that wall. Oh, coolio. I mean, you can't sit sort of like right against the wall. Okay, right against the wall. Um, bear move. Boom. And um, I would like to do a like a hind leg kick <laughs> towards this guy because it's already like. Pretty much staggering. Kung Fu Panda, maybe. Yeah, you this guys, is the bear fu. <laughs> you guys know about the, the, about uh, Roberto's character? It's it's a uh, what is it? It's a it's a. Um, oh, I took I took monk. one monk and monk uh, druid. yeah, one monk two druid for now. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh yeah, I could suplex him actually. That's not a bad idea. Anyways, I think I missed with an eight. Uh, yeah, you missed. Uh, he, he went into the wall and then he sort of. And bounced around and you, uh, you, you, your, your back kick sealed. Uh, damn it! Well, I still have one more from the, from the multi attack, uh, which is a bite. Uh, I guess I bite the one in front of me then. 
23 and yeah. that's a Seeing one base yep one d6 plus two and it's only a three okay and that's you so free chunk yeah. out of its out of its space but it's uh still there and it's looking pretty bad all right and uh next is the monster stern i believe okay so starting with the one that you just bit yep he will flash out with his teeth are sort of like now half exposed from a you know its entire cheek is now missing Okay. So it's like teeth is just sort of hanging from a from his jaw. Cool. Uh, my my armor class is fourteen in bear form. And it misses. Wow. Um, bear food. You get some. You get some slobber blood coats, coated slobber on you as it yeah. barely misses. Your, ha, barely. Your shoulder barely misses the bear. <laughs> All right, and that is um, all he can do from that position. Uh, next is the one behind it, who um, sort of is pushing at it but can't get past. Uh, followed by the one behind that, who also can't get past. They're all sort of like <sighs> trying to get through the through the space, but they can't make it. Oof. Um, and that happens again. And again. Wow. And then this one starts to come up to his door. And Elvin, you now see a whole, uh, Eleanor sees a whole row of these things at the stop, the top room. Um, And the one behind the bear behind Fergus um, yep. lashes out at you. Yep. Uh, that's a miss, I believe. Guys, shall we set the time limit? Oh, uh, it's yeah. F for 11, yeah. We need oh. to hold. Damn. Oh, let, me, let me do my turn. Let me do my turn. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Let's time do flies. Thing. Let's, let's go through to let's. Uh, We'll stop on Fervis's turn. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Molly. Okay. I move here. And actually, I want to attack this guy with my scimitar. Okay. And you slice into it. <laughs> wow. damage and you slice it basically into Better than fire. <laughs> Is that the first time you actually use your scimitar? No, I use it in the in the ship. Remember? Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, when I believe I had no magical powers, and then I move my spirit here. Oh my God! Why are you blocking my line of sight? <laughs> <laughs> you to the north there. You have uh, your side. <laughs> and standing next to that spirit, don't you feel the fire and the heat like burning you? Maybe. No, it doesn't. Only when you summon it. No. Uh, so, and then I will shoot a um, fire seed here. Okay. Hang on, you hit it. Uh, five damage. And it goes down. Yes. It was already somewhat injured. Yeah. Okay, that was my turn. Nice. Elvin. Yep. I'm going to move slightly up until I have a line of sight to the first. Uh, okay, just one square would do it, or two of, if you want. Yeah, of these creatures, and I'm going to shoot my arrows at it. Okay. Uh, I aim, aim, and release. And you hit it, and it drops. Yes. And I still have a bit move left, so I will move back towards the more center. I think probably just one square, 10, 20, 30, yeah. Well, anyway, close enough, fine. Yeah. 
Okay, we are back again, and so to we are done for today. So, Wish right. you one more quick attack if you want, and then we'll, we'll stop yeah. for you. We are not back again now. So, back with the short bow, it's advantage again. And, uh, so it's a 10? No, oh, it's a 14. It's a 14. Mm -hmm. what, was your, what was your stealth before? Your stealth? Was oh. that high? Oh, is it uh, 20 at 80? 18? Yeah, okay. 18. that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's a uh, 14. Does this, but, but no, no, does it hit? Oh, if, if it hits, then I'm going to roll for this sneak attack as well. Yep, it hits. Okay, that's 4 plus 6. So then then. And he goes down. Do I see anybody else coming behind that guy? Uh, not that you see, no. <laughs> Almost done, guys. All right, let's charge. They are getting weaker. So we'll stop it here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pick up with Furbis at the uh, start of the sure. again. Yeah, but before stopping it, lit up this area, GM. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Uh, we oh, want wanna to see. see. Yeah, you want to <laughs> see how much more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, my God. Never ending more. Oh. Oh, no, there is a door here. So, yeah, probably more actually behind. Yeah. All right, it's okay. We clean this up. Thanks for the game, Richard. Yeah, Thanks thank you. Thanks for thank you, Richard. Have a good evening. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.